Hey peeps, how y'all doing? We are in Monkey Town. So the fairground is here in Adopt Me. And I've been playing around with the monkeys for a little bit. And I wanted to share some of my experience and a, a design that I decided to do in my home with the albino monkey. So I have to say that after getting all the monkeys and making a decision about which one is my favorite, I would say that this one, which I named Boji, is my favorite. I love the albino. I think they're beautiful. I think the neon is actually really pretty. Even though I don't typically make a lot of neons, I like the neon albino because it is the all white color, which is really gorgeous. I haven't seen the mega yet, so I don't know what colors it changes into when it's doing the rainbow effect but i absolutely just love the standard albino which is this pretty creamy obviously albino white looking monkey it's my favorite it doesn't even have like so much extra detail like the ninja or the king or the business or the toy but it's my fave so that's that's the one that I like the best. Now, this other legendary one, which is the Golden Monkey, is cool. And the Ninja is cool also. I love the Ninja. It's like number two for me. I thought it was going to be number one, but for some reason, I just fell in love with the albino. Anyways, the Monkey is cool. It's gold, um, but it's just not my fave. So, I'm going to show you the albino design that I decided to make in my home. I'm gonna walk through it with you. First, you're gonna get the barrier. And wherever you want the monkey is wherever you can put it. I decided to put it over here in this space. Um, this is actually where I had my Christmas tree. And then I had a display area here and I didn't know what to do with it. So anyways, wherever you wanna put it, it's easier if you put it like closer to the ground so you can work with the barriers and you don't have to build so much to build around. Okay, so what we're going to use for the head is the wooden bowls. You're going to get one wooden bowl and place it up against the barrier. Then you're going to move the barrier all the way up to the edge so you can see the outer rim of where you need the other bowl to be placed. Now, obviously, we're going to have to get a second barrier because we're going to have to put the bowl flip side up against it to where we can make a complete circle. So I placed the bowl there first so that I know the distance of where the next barrier needs to be. Then I'm just going to grab this one because I have it over here from where I was working and pull it on over. And then what we're going to do is pull it out, get ourselves worked up in the middle so we can work here. If you're not close to it, then it doesn't move where you need it to move. So you have to be like really close to the area of where you're working so that you can maneuver things around properly. Even if you're squeezed in, it's fine. Get yourself squeezed in there first, then move the barrier so that you can feel where you need the bowl to go. Now getting it placed perfectly on top is the tricky part. It did take me a lot longer and I'm gonna edit it out just so that you don't have to suffer through all of that. But it does take some time. It's not as quick as it appears. You have to get it placed exactly. And then if you move it apart and you can see that it's still, like that's not a full circle, like that is off a little bit. So then I'm just gonna move the other side to see if I can get that one worked better and placed against the bowl. So I'm just going to move the other one because sometimes the other one will move better than one side. It just depends on, um, it just depends on your luck actually. So there we go. I think that might be good now. Now I think they're too close. So what I'm gonna have to do is move the barrier back just a little bit. You can tell it's too close if you can see, if you get really close, you can see the coloring of where it's it's touching each other. And um, so you just, we're just gonna have to move the barrier back and then move the bowl back a little bit. Um, see when it's too close, it starts giving like a pattern in the middle, which is cool if that's the look that you're going for, but that's not the look that I'm going for. I want like a complete, 
circle for the head. So I'm gonna have to move this barrier over just a little and then put the bowl back there um, exactly where it needs to be. So you're gonna watch me do that. I just moved it just a little smidged. You wanna make sure that you're using the small grid size so that you can get everything uh, worked out exactly how you need. And it's very important to use a small grid, otherwise it would just be popping like way too far out. So just moving around and getting it exactly like so. And I think that that is as good as it's going to get people. And then we will move on to the next part of the head. After we get cash out our money, we are going to see if you look at the monkey in the front, it has like the, the front of the face, which is like um, the complete circle, and then it was the back. So it's like two of these that we need to put together. So we are going to make exactly the same thing, except we're gonna put it up a little and back a little so that it looks like the shape of the monkey's head. And I'll uh, show you how to do that. We'll just walk through it together. Also, we're gonna move the barrier up against the one that's already there, and we are going to put it back a little bit, so give enough space for the nose to be sticking out like that. And then we're gonna get another wooden bowl, which is the biggest one that there is available. And we're gonna place it right there on top of the barrier, on top of this ball. Okay, and there we go. I think that that is perfect. And so now I think it's pretty clear what we need to do, and you can see how it's coming together. The shape of the monkey's head is so cute. I'm such a huge fan of the albino. I love the colors. I think it is amazing. It's just light and pretty and perfect, and I love it. So yes, that has become my favorite. So if you guys wanna drop a comment, what's your favorite monkey? I think that I love the ninja as number two because I think it's so cute with that kitsune mask. And it's just adorable. But the business monkey is like rocking it out. Like it's a really cool looking business monkey. Okay, so we have the barrier up against the back. Um, far enough for the ball to fit on like so. I don't know how I put it like right exactly where it needs to be. Somehow I just have it in my head at the distance that it should be. But um, sometimes it's not exactly and then obviously we get it in place and then we move the barrier a little bit closer so that it's a little bit easier. Sometimes if it's just so close then you can just move the barrier a little bit. You could just click on the bowl and it just like sits right back on top of it without moving. And so then you just happen to, to get lucky and it stays where it needs to be. So there is a little bit of distance in between but we are going to work it in there just like we did with the other one. And then we will continue uh, with the next step, which I think will be the eyes of the monkey. So once we get it exactly where it needs to be, it does take some finagling and patience. I, I edited this video out to be about 20 something minutes long, but it actually took me about an hour to do this. So whenever you are um, going to take the time to try this, if you want to, you need to allow about an hour's time to make it. I do like to go in my private server when I'm doing this because if I didn't, it'd probably take me three hours or more. Just because I always like to stop and talk to people and everything, start trading and get distracted. So, okay, you can see we have the two, I'm just gonna call them balls, <laughs> the two parts of the head. Um, and that's how we did it. And if you feel that you would want them closer together or more up or more down or however, obviously that's up to you however you decide to make it. I'm just giving you the baseline of how I do it. And now I'm moving the barrier forward because I know I want to put the small bowls up here for the eyes. So I'm going to go in and go to the bowls and use the little small one because you can change the color. And the, the wooden bowl just happens to be the color that I want it to be. So I'm going to keep it like that because I think it's very fitting for the albino monkey. 
And then uh, you can change the color though for those. If you wanted it to be the brown monkey, you can do brown. If you wanted to change it to white, if you wanted to make it two-tone, however you wanna do it is your choice. I'm gonna put these balls in here, the smaller ones for the eyes and color them black. And then we will pull it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I got really lucky. They all went into place exactly where I wanted them to be. I'm very satisfied with that. I got them on my first try, which doesn't usually happen for me, so I'm super happy about that. Now we're gonna think about the nose. I like to pull the monkey out just to look at it. The nose on this one is the same color of the, the base of the front of the nose. So I'm just gonna take one of these signs um, the neon sign you can use, and you can use any letter that you want to make a shape that you need. So if you're trying to find a shape of something that you want to use for a build, and you're not finding it in any book or anything that you need, then you can go in and you can use the sign, and you can create a shape um, with it and change the color that way. So I was thinking that the O would be perfect for the nose. So we're just gonna see if I can get that put on there. Um, I tried the big O first and it's just too big. It's like almost the size of the front of the bowl, so it's way too big. So then I went in and I changed it to the lowercase O and that is what I ended up using for this. I used the lowercase O for the nose and changed the color to a lighter beigey cream color. And I'll speed it up and show you what it looks like. So for the albino monkey, they do have the nose exactly the same color, but I wanted to show the variation. So I wanted to change the color just to um, just the light ivory color so that it isn't exactly the same color, but it does still stand out a little bit, but it still blends and, and kind of looks like all uh, blended. So that's the color that I decided to choose for that. Obviously, it would look cool if I could do like the two-tone for the face of like the back of the head to be like the lighter color and the front to be um, the tan, but I decided not to do that just because I wanted to, to kind of keep it all looking the same, so I just uh, decided to do that, uh, just the different off tones with the nose and the ears. So I'm going to show you the ears now. And I had tried to use the big plate and the little plate for the ears, but the, the big plate was too big. So what I decided to do first was get the small bowl, because it is actually the perfect size for the ear. And we are going to go in and put the small bow. It seems to be pretty on the same level of the eye, pretty close to that area. So then we are going to, let's see. I don't know if we're gonna keep it the same color or if we should change it. We'll do like a white for the bowl, for the ear. Okay, and then we're gonna go on the other side and choose the small bowl and put it here also and change it to that white creamy color. And then uh, we are going to go in. I had done this before in my kitchen. Oh my God, it looks so cute when you pull the barrier forward. It shows like the brown, but I'm not gonna use brown, but that's really cute. It gives you an idea of, of what you can do here. So I'm gonna take this small plate and put it inside the bowl. Unfortunately, you cannot change the color of the plate, but I like how it fits exactly in and just gives like a really tiny outline. So for me, that's exactly the look that I'm going for. 
So I'm gonna move the bowls down and put the plates here first because it's much easier that way. I'm just gonna move the bowls down and so that I have the plates on the same level. I'm gonna put the plates on both sides first and then I'll move the barrier back. You see where you're standing is where they it places it. Okay, and then I'll move the barrier back and put the bowl behind the plate. I just want to get it centered exactly um, how it should be so that it looks really, really good. Okay, and then when you put the bowl behind it, it just gives you like that perfect outline um, to where it shows like a two-tone color. And I will speed it up for you just to show you what it looks like. Or maybe I'll just leave it here so that it, you can see how it happens. Okay, you can get it exactly behind the plate. I did this in the kitchen. I just put a bowl on my counter and then I wanted to look like something was inside. So I put a plate on so I know that it works. <laughs> So that's how I know that it works um, for this situation because I did it before. But getting it placed how you want it is the tricky part. But that's what's so fun about doing these builds is that it takes time to get the look that you're going for and it's worth it on the end. See how cute that looks? Aww. Okay, then we'll go through and do the other side. And there we go. Voila. Oh, I think it's lovely. You cannot, as I said before, change the color of the plates, or I would do like that uh, beigey color, but I think it's fine. It's like all of those light slate colors that we have going with the Sabino Monkey, so I think that it fits perfectly. Now what we're gonna do is the hair, and I noticed that the hair for this monkey is just like two little divvies. So it just goes like up and down like two V's. Um, so I wanted to get this sign, it's the wooden sign, just so it gives it like some grit to the hair. Like just like, you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean. <laughs> like highlights or something, low lights, streaks. And uh, I was gonna use two V's because of how the hair looks on the monkey, <clears throat> but it ended up being too big. But I tried it anyways, just to show you guys that it ended up being too big. And so then, once I got it up in place up here, just to make sure and confirm, I ended up changing it just to one V upside down. And I think it looks darling. I love it. I love the color. I love how it blends. And I love the shape because it looks like the shape of the hair on our albino. Yay, it's so cute. Now I could get all crazy and try and make like the full body with the tail and everything, but I'm not going to do that because this is decoration. You can work with it however you want. I did, I wanted to show you guys how I did try to use the drum. I'm so low on AMC that I'm moving stuff from different parts of my house to see if it works before I go full on and actually create it. But um, I was going to put this here and then I had to move the barrier back and then I realized, no, it's not going to work. It's not a good look. It doesn't fit properly and it just wasn't working for me. And then you'll see that I decided to use palm trees. So after I realized that that wasn't it, I was going to try to stand it up, put it in front like it's playing the drums. That's really what I was going to try to do. But then it was way too big to be in front, so then I was just gonna try to lay it down, and then it was way too big still. So I took it away completely. I already had these little bamboo trees back there, and so it just gave me the idea that maybe I should try the palms, but I decided to see, uh, try to use a cylinder first, and that is huge, so that didn't work. And then I tried to use the smaller cylinder to see if I could just try to do like a little, like base of the body before I put the trees and that didn't work either. I'm just gonna leave the head and then I'm gonna put some trees and make it look like the monkey is chilling in the trees without making the body. It's totally fine because it's decoration and it's mine. So it's fine. Um, a lot of people, you know how they have those deer heads just hanging on their wall? Well, 
you know, it's kind of like that, except it's my monkey, and it's in the trees, so there you go. Um, and once you get these palm trees in place like that, I got the short one and the tall one. Look how darling is that. Technically, I could leave it like this, but when you start walking around and stuff, it's kind of like an open space, so I wanted to camouflage it a little bit. So I got my bamboo trees that I already had here. Now, I might move these around later because I don't know if I really like them there or not, but I think it looks kind of cool if you're wanting to just you know, kind of camouflage it and hide the spot and everything. And I'm going to cover these pots also on the bottom with one of the shapes that we have. I'll just put it down on the base of the tree. But first I'm going to get these coconut seeds so that we can sit over here with the decoration. If we want to, we can just have it as extra seating here in the living room. I have to go and get another coconut seat that I have in my house because I'm out of AMC. So I went and got that. I placed them on each side. I put them at an angle so that we can sit there around the tree and look how cool is that. So we have coconut seating, we have the palm trees, and then we just have our albino monkey decoration there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a little bit lengthy, but it was actually a lot longer than the video is. And I keep saying the albino is my favorite because the albino is my favorite. But I do want to know what your all's favorite is because it's kind of hard to decide. They're all cool in their own little way. I did put this, um, I can't remember what the name of this shape is, but I put it down at the bottom. Um, to hide the pots because I think it looks really cool and it makes the bamboo blend and you know whatever kind of decoration you want to put there is fine I might end up taking those out because I think the palm trees look nice just as they are but oh I got my albino decoration now it's so cute my house is getting so full my friend water oracle was here uh, today and she was like I just remember when we were just like when you were just putting the rug down and making like the paw prints in this house, how far this house has come, it's amazing. <clears throat> I have the bunny, I have the dragon, I have freaking queen bee and all kinds of different things up in here. And I like to keep them all. Also, my bird cage is upstairs. Anybody's welcome to come and see my house anytime that I'm in the game. My join's always on. And you can write me or you can leave a message here. And if you have any questions, just let me know. That is the albino debut up in here. So if you have any trades or anything or any offers for a golden unicorn, I could trade that. I also have a giraffe if you have an offer for that. Um... And I have a neon starfish. If anybody wants to offer for one of those, let me know what your offer is. And I hope that you guys like this video. It helps me so much when you do that. And please subscribe and turn your notifications on until next time. And I hope that our update is sooner rather than later. Even though this one is currently for four weeks, I hope we have something going on up in here in between that so that we can get to talking about it. Okay, guys. Have a good day. Ciao.